Ladies and gentlemen, Kingdom. A surprisingly complex and surprisingly beautiful pixel art game that just came out a little bit ago. It originated as a Newgrounds Flash game. I forget the year, but it was, was a decent while ago. I'll sort of explain things as we go along. This is not a blind playthrough, but I also haven't played very much of it. I've played probably about 40 minutes to an hour of it. So just to sort of learn the basics. Very simple controls. Doesn't use the mouse at all. It's just, uh, in this case, arrow keys, or for me, W, S, A, and D. A and D moving side to side, shift to sprint. I cannot go left because the game wants me to sort of progress off to the right. But you can actually just kind of a little bit see. There's stuff over there. It's actually a small camp. And uh, we'll be visiting a couple of those later on. No reason to do so for the time being. The music's quite good in this game, too. It's pretty chill for the beginning bit, and uh, when I was first playing it, I thought, man, this is a really kind of laid-back, casual-type game, but it actually gets surprisingly intense later on. You can see there on the top left is a little money bag. It only appears after we pick up money or spend money, but you can see it sort of fills up over time. It can actually overflow, and um, you sort of max out on money and just kind of gets tossed into the water after a while. But money is spent on things like this. You can see just a little circle above my head there. It's kind of hidden in the rocks a little bit. But that's where you spend money. It only required one coin to do, and you can see it sort of set up a nice little camp for us here. We have two merchants. On the left is the uh, hammer slash axe guy. The center of axes of both is basically just a builder. And then on the right is a uh, bow, which will turn into sort of our hunters slash defenders. So we have here just a couple little people there. They're just wearing brown, just sort of walking around. We toss them a little bit of coinage. They get a nice little color, and they just kind of walk towards our camp. So after that happens, if you have any spare bows bought, which I will buy. Whoops. Hold it down all the way. Uh. There, and he just kind of picks up a bow as he walks over to it and starts hunting. And he'll turn into a defender as well. And later on, we can get watchtars for them, too. And left at the hammer, which is also an axe. Basically just a builder. So this guy will slowly work his way over, head on over to the hammer, and he will help build things, as well as take down trees and such. He'll be in charge of building defenses, moving catapults, stuff like that. You can't uh, directly tell them what to do. You just sort of have to spend money, and they'll do it however. A little dirt pile there indicates that they can turn into a wall, so I queue it up, and he'll work his way over there and do it. You also cannot change their professions from what I can tell. Um, build, expand, defend, yeah, that's the basic premise of the game. And there is a day-night cycle, and nighttime gets uh, pretty intense sometimes. But for the time being, we have one hunter, one uh, builder of sorts. I can't tell them directly what to do, but for the time being, the hunter will just kind of walk around, and if there's anything to hunt, he'll hunt it, pick up some money, and as I walk over to him, he'll give me his money. So sort of paying his dues, if you will. We'll queue up just that little bit of wall there. These rock piles can eventually, if I spend three gold, turn into a watchtower. I will not do that yet, because that means that the hunter will go into the watchtower and become a defender. He will no longer hunt things for me. So, ideally, we find a camp like this, or way off to the left, there's another one. Pick up a couple of these people, they'll head back over to the um, camp out here, which I will buy an extra bow. There we are. So one of them will walk over to the bow and pick it up and become a hunter as well. And we'll just continue on. I don't know if the world is randomly generated or not. I have no idea him up. I tend to like to pick up a bunch of people. Ooh, yeah, this is different. No idea what this is. That's new to me. It's kind of expensive, though. Interesting. Oop. Okay, and that's one of the nasty things. They just kind of take your shit. They die pretty easy, and if you don't have any money, they'll end up actually taking your crown, and if your crown is taken, you lose the game. And that stone thing is where they come from. Probably shouldn't be going out this far, but usually... There's a chest way out here for some extra money. Yay! 
and recruiting people way out here is a bit risky because there's a chance that those things will just jump out of the portal and get them thereby making them unemployed so it's a wasted coin and especially since it's nighttime there's a fat chance of them making it all the way back home he didn't get our stamina back for our horse you can only sprint for so long and another camp with some more dudes and that symbol up there being Roman numeral 2 for day 2. Man, I can actually go quite far. When I was playing this before, it was just past the first portal. There was just uh, a couple camps and then a bridge, and I couldn't go across the bridge at all. Game sort of refused. Ah, here we are. There it is. Uh, can't go this far. So I'd imagine you have to build your, um, your border out this far. To, uh, to do so. And I'd imagine you have to sort of build your base slash kingdom slash whatever out that far. And there's going to be some sort of a build option for that bridge. Not really sure what, though. Again, I haven't beaten the game or anything like that. Horse is winded, so we'll stop here. Eat some grass, maybe, kind of, sort of. Somewhere, maybe over here. No? All right. I can deposit a gold into the tree, and that'll actually tell a builder to come over here and chop down the tree. Now, these trees are way too far away for me to do so. But trees close to our camp, definitely doing that, because once you take out the trees, a couple more people to recruit. Recruit. No, don't want the tree. Fuck. I don't think there's any way for me to undo that. Hopefully they're smart enough to not head out all this way. There you go. Uh, trees close to our home, as, as you sort of take out the trees, that's how you sort of expand your border. And a couple more unemployed people, probably from the monsters in the portal there. Not sure what that little statue there is either, as well as that. We'll just kind of find out as we get over there. I tend to like recruiting as many just standard citizens as I can. Uh, they, they don't really do anything, but since you can't really change profession of anybody, I figure it's a cool thing just to hang on to them and sort of give them a job as time goes on. And oh my god, you've been busy. Well done. I will use another, whoops, uh -uh. another uh, hunter. Chest spawns every morning, so when you make it through the night, there's a little bit of money just so you can, um, you know, advance a bit. And we'll get another builder. And improve the main camp. Not exactly sure what this does at all, but it does that. And then I can dump more money into the flag. I can dump more money into the camp. I think tomorrow you can only progress so far so quickly. And I don't really know what that does for me. But we will need to take down these trees to spread this way. So we'll do that. And then once those trees are down, we can put down a wall here, a watchtower here. We can actually just do that now. May as well. And pick up another bow for another hunter. Since one of the hunters are going to that watchtower, and again, they can't hunt. They're strictly defense. They don't make money defending. Mm, improve the walls. I'll improve this wall when it gets built someday. Oh my god, you've been busy too. There, so he, he hopped up there. He is no longer Hunter. He can no longer make me money. Strictly defense. But we will upgrade that tower and give him a more proper defense. Oh my god! Hunter, help! Damn. Well, that's what happens when the standard villagers get hit. They lose their tool, they lose their job. Uh, if you happen to kill them as they escape with your stuff, you can actually just get it back and no harm done. But I've wasted a gold into this guy, and we lost a hammer, so that blows. So it's a mix of not, not spreading too thin too quickly, not giving people jobs as soon as you possibly can. And that's where the strategy comes in, in my opinion. Here we are, wood, and then tomorrow I think it goes into like a stone wall type thing, and again, not 100% sure what that all does for me. 
Ah, it might give you more professions and stuff like that. See, now we can do uh, scythes as a tool, which is actually just a farming thing. They cut grass and all that. And eventually I'll be able to sort of do a water mill here, I think, where that little stream is. But again, we'll need to chop down trees, so may as well chop down that guy. Put up the wall here, put up a tower here. While they do that, I'll recruit these guys. Pick up a couple more bows. There we are. Too tired to move on. And let's head off to the left, see what we got going on over here. See if I can get to that camp that was over there at the very beginning of the game. Just a bit far away is the problem. Ooh. Yes, please. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm just short. Okay, traveling merchant. They'll, uh, they'll actually head over to the camp and fill up an equipment rack. Last time I did it, it was bows. Which is a pretty cool thing. Oh, yeah, okay, let's not go that far. Maybe chase a deer over to our, uh, to our camp while I'm at it. Hunter will pick it up and it's like two or three gold for a deer. Pretty nice. Oh, that's him. I thought that was a stone thing. Eventually we'll do another water mill here, which is basically just a farm. You just every couple days get some gold out of it. Uh, you just need to protect it because obviously if the guys are coming out from the edge of the screen and they break their way over here, they're going to hit the water wheel before they hit our wall. So there's no sense in building this thing anytime soon until we get a proper wall built and some defenses. And... Let's get that wall built. Work on improving these walls, give them more health. A bit expensive to do so, but definitely worth it. over here, pop over to the other hunters, get whatever money they've got. Nothing. And it's nighttime, so we'll just kind of hang out here for a bit. Whew, just. Tomorrow morning, I will use the money for the chest to pick up that merchant, and I think he'll... If, I don't know if he always goes for the bow and arrow, or if it's just kind of one or the other, but he, he fills up the entire rack for it, which is like five or something like that. So it takes four to pick him up, but if he's if he's filling up our bow and arrow, that's, you know, ten gold worth. And gives me a shit ton of hunters. Ah, okay, so upgrading it to the... Um, I don't even know what you'd call it, the town hall type thing? Not sure gives us this, which is where they build catapults. And catapults are pretty good for defense. They they tend to do a lot of damage and one-shot some of the tougher guys that you'll encounter, I believe. But you can either have it built off to the left or built off to the right. The dudes with the hammers are responsible for loading it, reloading it, and I think they got snagged by a couple of those night dudes as they came on over. The, the dudes with the hammers are responsible for reloading and moving the catapults, so there is always a reason to have those, even if you're not actively upgrading your place. And I don't know if the merchant has fucked off or what. Yeah, I think I missed my chance with him. Bummer. Right now I'm just trying to get enough unemployed people just to sort of walk around our camp so I can sort of assign jobs as I need them. You know, I never like buying a, a ton of hammers or bows and arrows unless I have an active need for it. Because you never know, one night I could have these trees queued up and then they come over here in the middle of the night to do it and the nighttime dudes grab them, make them unemployed and all that. So it's, you know, it's a bit of a waste then. So I sort of do it as I need them. 
would be nice to get this upgraded to a proper wall. That's a proper tower. That's a proper wall. Don't have a tower here yet. Gonna be ascending a lot of buildings, so we'll get another, another hammer. Upgrade this wall. Yeah, I need a lot of money. Nice thing about the towers is while it does take away a hunter, which reduces your uh, income, the monsters can't destroy the towers. It's a, it's a permanent thing. I have not encountered a monster that will destroy it, nor do the dudes in the tower ever get attacked. So it is just a free bit of defense while they bash down the wall. So that's cool. And that'll be a water mill, which is kind of pointless in building right now because I don't have a wall, so it'll just get ransacked right away. It's nighttime, so fan chance of you making it home, but we'll try it. Or is it nighttime, or is it just a dark forest? Oh, okay, it's sunset right now. And pretty soon, I'm pretty sure it's like once a week, you sort of get a, a blood moon. It's just a big red moon. The music gets pretty sinister, and you get a massive horde of dudes attacking. So I'm trying to get ready for the first one of that. Try not to build too wide. We're trying to build um, our inner defenses first thing and only moving out when I'm positive we can very quickly get up the walls. Build another wall there, though there's no tower that can be built here, so this wall is really just going to slow them down. Unless I have um, hunters walking around. Because that guy in the tower over there is not going to be able to shoot over that wall and hit guys on the other side of this wall. Oh, balls. Take my gold. I'd rather they take my gold than my worker's equipment. But we were lucky enough, we had enough archers in the area that we were able to kill them before they could run off with their stuff, so no harm done. I guess while you're over here... Chop those down, you do get money for chopping them down, and I suppose I'll, you know, get started on that. Bell's trying to pick up our... I don't even know what this is, taxes, I guess? Not sure. Recruit you. Citizens tend to just wander within the encampment, so they're generally pretty safe. Though it looks like we got attacked from our right side here. None of these walls are built. So, let's get a couple more builders going. another builder running out of money hopefully the hunters were doing a pretty good job they made the mistake of focusing too much on one side this right side's completely undefended actually damn more dudes Probably picking up too many dudes now. Okay, one builder going over there, working on that. That's good. Another builder. Probably chopped down the trees over here. There's probably some money as such. Yeah, he chopped down the trees. I don't know where the money went from that, though. But we can. After we chop down those trees, we can get another tower here. Doesn't look like we can get another wall, though. There's no dirt mound anywhere. The tower is kind of nice. Okay, there's a wall way up here. Kind of pointless. Alright. This way can't really expand too, too much. Two towers, though. That's worth it. Might need to build the water mill before I can build these. Is that what it's waiting on? No, I can build these now. We'll go for that one at least. And try for this guy. No, can't do this one yet. Probably these trees in the way. 
These are getting a bit strange. Probably hold off on the catapults. That's a huge investment. The catapults, I don't think, can be destroyed, but again, it requires a worker to be stationed at it to um, reload it and move it into position and stuff like that. Oh yeah, Red Moon. Huge attack incoming. 